Are y'all ready to try some spicy Pete's ribs? Because I'm going to tell you, you pull the bones out of these things, take you a bite, and you're going to be wondering why I hadn't cooked them before. All right, the first thing we want to do to our baby back ribs is get them cut out of the pack and get the membranes off of them. I'm just taking my thumb and running in between the bones, in between two bones, till I get to the very end and I can get all the way through that membrane. And then when you get your thumb all the way under it, just take and pull off. Just that simple. I'm really not going to trim anything off of these ribs, I don't think. That's a good meaty slab here. Um, yep. I'm just going to get ready to season them now. There's going to be no trim ribs, anything. I'm going to get them on my Traeger 1300. Today I'm using some beef rub. That's right, beef rub. It's got that salt, pepper. It's kind of heavy in the taste. So it's going to give it that kind of good back end heat that you're looking for. Then we're going to come back with a little peach rub on top just for a little different fruity flavor. So let's get these ribs seasoned up. I'm going to remove one of my gloves here. All right. That way I don't cross contaminate anything. I've got some mustard. You can use a binder if you like. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna go squirt down each back here. And I'm gonna take a pastry brush here and just kind of slather that mu mustard on. Now, once you get that mustard slathered on, we're gonna come back with a little bit of that beef rub. You can see the nice heavy pepper coating it's giving these ribs here. And that's what I'm looking for today. I want that good pepper pop. All right, we get that beef rub layered on pretty good. We're gonna come back with some of this peach rub. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Now, get that kind of padded in here, shake it off, turn them over and repeat the process. Now it's easy to get up under this rib with your, your hand here with a glove on. And when you tilt this rib up, you can kind of get the edge here and you just work back from side to side. You can kind of work down that rib. All right, guys, we're gonna let these set here for about 15 minutes while our Traeger comes up to temp. We're cooking at 300 degrees today, and we're gonna get these on. All right, we've got our Traeger Timberline 1300 running at 300 degrees. I wanna go ahead and get topped off with some Royal Oak charcoal pellets here. Now, go ahead and pour some of these in. Make sure I'm topped off pretty good for a full cook. Now I wanna go ahead and get these ribs on. All right, now that we've got our three slabs on, I'm gonna get the grill lid closed and let it go for about an hour, and then we'll look at them and maybe spritz them. All right, it's been one hour our ribs have been on our Traeger 1300 at 300 degrees. Those roll oak charcoal pellets, we got a nice color going on so far. Now, the rub is starting to stick pretty good, but it can still wipe, so I'm gonna let this go another 30 minutes before I spritz anything. So I'm gonna get the grill lid closed and keep letting them cook. The key to a good rib is making sure your bark is stuck before you wrap. All right, let's be back in another 30 minutes. All right, it's been an hour and a half, and let's get in here and look at our ribs. You can see they kind of got like a little shine to them, but look at that, no rub is coming off, none. So I know they're ready to be spritzed. Now I'm gonna let these go another 30 minutes, 30 to 45, and then we're gonna get them wrapped up. All right, let's get our grill lid shut. All right, our ribs are almost ready to be wrapped. So the first thing we wanna do, let's go ahead and open some butter bath up. Now I've got three racks, so I'm gonna take three quarter cups and put in my cup. One, two, and three. Now, I'm mixing with pineapple juice today just to change it up. So I'm gonna get in a can or two, then get it shaken up, then add my other liquid to it and get it all balanced out. You just shake it up, it's just that easy. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add some more liquid to it here, and I know it seems like a lot, but we are wrapping three racks, so we wanna make sure that we have enough in here for three racks. Now that you've got it all shaken up, just set it to the side, and let's get some ribs off the cooker. All right, our ribs have been on two hours at 300 degrees, and I can tell you they are looking great. Now, look at that color of that rib right there. Starting to pull some moisture out of it, we want to make sure our rub was stuck good, but these ribs look incredible. That beef rub crust, that peach rub on top. Mmm, I wish y'all could smell that. It smells so good. Let's get them over here to the cutting board and get them wrapped. 
Now I'm keeping it simple today. You can see I've got my tray here and I'm gonna take my foil and just kinda lay in where it creates a little bit of a pocket. Now I'm taking it easy today. You just take a slab of these ribs here, turn them upside down in your foil. Give us a little shake shake with that pineapple juice. And let's pour a little bit of butter bath down. All right, now that we've got that down, we're gonna get that rib wrapped up. Now I've got my foil doubled up. I advise you to do the same. A lot of this foil is not very thick. You know that you buy at Sam's Club or Costco or wherever. So to keep from your bones punching any holes in it, I always double my foil. Now I'm gonna set this to the side, wrap these other two racks, get them back on that trailer. All right, grill lid shut, 45 minute timer set. All right, our ribs have been on another 45 to 50 minutes. And so you gotta remember, cooking 300 degrees, this is gonna be a little bit hotter than normal. But I like cooking hot and fast a lot on ribs. It renders the fat that it needs to get that perfect bite through. So I'm looking for a finish tip between 203 to 207, 208, it doesn't matter. And so, look at that, 203, 204, 205, six, seven. Let's get them off, get them rested, and then we're gonna be ready to glaze them up. All right, while our ribs are off the grill and rested, we know we've got about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna take some of my sweet sauce here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use, I don't know, we got three racks here, so about half of a, of a bottle. And then I'm gonna add in some of my good friend Tommy Houston's Checkered Pig barbecue sauce. We sell this on our website too, have it available. I really like it. Now I'm gonna add about a, about a third of a bottle of his. Yep, not quite a half, because that's really all that allowed me to do. Now I'm gonna mix this up good. I'm gonna get it on my Traeger to start warming up before we sauce these ribs. Let it go for about 30 minutes, we'll get it off and then we'll glaze these ribs. All right guys, our ribs have been resting here for about 30 minutes on the counter. Let's get in here and unwrap these and see what we're working with. I'm gonna take these ribs and just kind of shake them off and kind of lay them up here. Oh, look at that. Now I keep foil on all my pans just for easy cleanup. Now I'm gonna turn this over. Now I just wanna get this painted on ever so gently. You're gonna paint your backs and then turn around and paint your fronts. Now you wanna make sure you get the front of your rib bones here. You see how I'm going down that? Cause you want all of that rib to look all pretty. You just wanna douse that brush all down those rib bones. All right, can't get about little Joe over here. That's a good meaty rack of ribs right there. Now I'm gonna take my pot here and make this a little easier. Just make sure you have on heat gloves when you touch that pot, because it will burn you. Now we're just lightly glazing these ribs up. Once we put them back on the cooker and let them go for about 15 or 20 minutes, this sauce is gonna tack up, have a nice color to it, a nice shine, and these are gonna be some quick and easy, hot and fast, good old, I don't even know what flavor profile you wanna call them, they have so many things going on. All right, now that we got them all painted up, Let's get them back over here to the cooker and get them on. All right, let's get that grill lid shut. Let that glaze tack up. All right, our ribs have been glazing about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get in here and get them off. Look at that pretty color right there. That are some great looking ribs right there. Man, they look good. All right, we're back. Our ribs have rested after they come off the cooker so they're not so hot, I've just put on a pair of gloves. And I can tell you, they're still warm. I feel the residual heat come off of them. But just to recap about these ribs, we cooked them on our Traeger Timberline 1300 with Royal Oak charcoal pellets. We just used some Prairie Fresh Prime baby back ribs, peeled the membrane on them. We used a little bit of mustard for a binder. You can use anything you like or water or no binder at all. It's completely up to you. And then we used our beef rub and Pete's rub. We let that go for two hours on the pit at 300 degrees. We come back and wrapped it in a little butter bath and pineapple juice for, just for a little bit different flavor profile. And then we took about two thirds of our sweet sauce and about a third of checkered pig competition style sauce. And we basted it on these ribs here after they've been rested. And I can tell you, they smell incredible. They look incredible. Let's get in here and taste one. Oh, that is a beautiful rib. So I'm gonna pick that rib up. And of course it's gonna hit that rib wave right there, right? And you, what you're looking for, now this rib is not just falling apart, but I can still take right here and just tear it, just, and it's got integrity. And that's what we're looking for, a little bit of integrity, 
but a little bit of bone pull. You see that I can take and pull away two bones from that, no problem. And just look at that. Let me go ahead and pull that off. That's that crab leg pull. I can tell y'all these taste incredible. I'm probably wearing it. That is a really good meaty rib, good and tender, just the way I like them. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.